One of the first things you might consider doing when creating winning resume is to change margins to narrow. To do that, you navigate to Layout tab in Microsoft Word and select Narrow Margins. As a next step, you would need to select the font and add hidden table into Microsoft Word document. To add the table, you need to navigate to Insert tab and select Table. I will use table with three columns. And once table information is in place, I'll add contact information for my client into the first cell. There are multiple types of designs you can adopt here. You can keep all information in this cell and make the first and last name larger. Or if you like to separate the content, you can separate contact information from the name and then align contact information to the right. I will make the rightmost column wider by reducing the size of the middle column and then I'll make the table invisible. To do that, you need to select the table and select no border. Table will still exist and you can still expand it, but it just wouldn't have any borders visible. In step four, we're going to add objectives, skills, experience, and education sections. Once we add the objective section, we might consider formatting it as we will replicate the format. We can make it a little bit larger and highlight font by making it bold. When we add additional sections, and you can do it by just typing the titles for the section and using the tab to navigate and create more rows in the table. We can use Format Painter to copy the style from the Objective section and apply it to Skills, Experience, as well as Education section. Objective section typically describes what you're trying to accomplish. To make it easy to populate Objective section, you might consider re-enabling the borders temporarily, so you can add the content for Objective section. You might also consider enabling Show Hide feature in Microsoft Word to see special characters, which would allow you to navigate better. A lot of times, Objective section contains only one sentence, with additional information if you find it useful and relevant. Once you are done editing particular section, you can disable Tables Borders to preview the document, as well as to disable the special characters. Based on the job you're applying for, you might consider breaking down your skills into at least two categories, technical skills as well as soft skills. To save space on your resume, you might consider putting them into two separate columns. To do that, we need to re-enable back our table borders and insert another table into the skills cell. This other table will have three columns as well and will also going to be invisible. We will put the technical skills on the left and we will put the soft skills on the right, as well as we will make the middle separator row to make sure both skills are visible. It might be a good idea to highlight the skills by using bullets. To do that, you select the skills and select the bullet buttons in Word. Last step is to hide the second table first, and you do it by selecting the table and making borders no borders. And final step is to highlight the main table by doing the same set of steps. In Experience section, you typically put experience information in reverse chronological order. You put your most recent experiences first, and you might consider highlighting the dates, your job title, as well as company name and location by making it bold. You can do the same thing for your previous job experiences as well. To accomplish this, you select the current job experience and use Format Painter to apply the format and style. When describing work experiences, it's typically a great idea to start with the action verb. You can also highlight your work experiences by using bullets. To preserve the space on the page, you might consider reducing the size of the middle column. And to do that, you may need to re-enable the table borders. Another option might be to reduce the name of the person. And this will allow us to save some space as well and make sure that the job description fits into one line per action verb. Obviously, if nothing helps, you can consider to simplify the sentence to reduce continuation into the second line, during which you might find out that you mentioned innovation twice. And by removing the word, it fits much better. You also might realize that experiences right now is separated from the actual job. And to fix that, you may need to move the content for the experience by copying and pasting it to merge it with the header and deleting the content in another cell by using the delete button. 
which leads us to the fact that you might consider keeping the borders for the table on until you're done with editing. For the second job, you might want to consider adding a dedicated list as well. And same principles with the action verbs to make content bulleted, highlighted, and spelled correctly. And you might consider doing the same for the third job. In education section, you might consider listing the month, the year, the name of the university, as well as the type of degree that you received. Once you're done with the editing, you can zoom out a little bit, select the table, hide the borders for the table, preview the document, and save it as PDF by selecting the PDF file type in Microsoft Word Save dialog box. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.